basically what I'm going to try and do is um, I actually want to make this base speaker in Blender. I actually want to make the whole thing, but I'm just going to focus on this um, this main subwoofer at the moment. Um, the video is probably going to be um, maybe four or five parts uh, due to the system that I'm using. I can I can actually only record like ten minutes, so. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and create this and hopefully show you some things along the way. Uh, so what I'm going to do, just move that across onto my other screen there because I'm using a dual screen. Okay, um, let's go to... Um, doop, get to click on there. One, five, four. Okay, so keep yourself in ortho view, which I find is one of the best views to get. Uh, now one of the things that I found out is if you press N, keeping yourself in object mode uh, you can actually go down to um, where is it where is it let me just see is in yeah, definitely in object mode if you go to scene it's also metric there we go and then dimensions so what I want to do is 0.30 and that'll be 30 centimeters, it's done in meters, so you'd have to obviously work that out as 0.3 out equals 30 centimeters. 0.3 out, 30 centimeters. It looks quite small, but just uh, zoom in a little bit. Um, and grab that and grab it along the z-axis and just bring it straight up to there. Now, basically, that's, you know, pretty bob on really. It's, it's, it's a square speaker. It is square. So let's try and do some... Um, some modifications on this. Now another thing that I found out is Control B and is it Control B? Do apologise. Um, there you go. Yeah, Control B, and you can actually bezel the corners without actually using the modifier to bezel it for you or bevel it even. Uh, they may not all be accurate but I'll clean that up later on so as you can see uh, the reason I've done that is in the picture here you've got this line just on the side here and it does look like it's kind of uh, beveled across the sides um, although maybe not at the back so maybe I'll have to fix that but my idea was to just have a beveled around all four corners anyway, make it look a little bit nicer. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so that's basically, that's our speaker base. Um, now, we've got four legs, so if we go to one, then one, two, three, four, five, six, and control A, add plane, S, and scale it down. Now again, in uh, can we do it in this? No. Okay. So what I have to do is get rid of that plane in a minute. Get rid of that one completely. Go back into object mode, add a mesh, and add a cube. Scale it right the way down, and then with that cube selected, I reckon maybe one. Maybe three centimeters, so 0 0.03 and 0 0.03 and 0 0.03. Okay, so that's give us a perfect square, three centimeters by three centimeters. And again, if you just press one to take you back to the front view, and then on your numpad, you press number two, one, two, three, four, five, six, to take you directly to the bottom. I know there's other ways of doing it, but I find that to be the easiest way. Uh, press G to grab it, X and straight across onto the edge there. And then G and Z, and Z sorry, G and Y. Okay, now I know it's going to be overlapping a little bit, but I just want to make sure that I'm getting it perfectly in line with that corner there.
I want to get in real close just to make sure that's definitely there as well. And then G and Z to bring it up. And let it inset into the object a little bit. Zoom out stand a little bit while so just move this around. Just want to bob on straight onto the corner. G and X. And move it along a little bit. There we go. That should be pretty bob on now. I'm gonna probably gonna add a subsurf um, modifier to this anyway, so it's gonna be a lot smaller. Um, and I'm gonna scale it in across the top as well. But for now, I just want to try and get it as square as possible. Just onto there. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. Do, do, do. Yeah, I'll leave it as that. Now, one of the things that I had a problem with was actually using the mirror modifier. Uh, I know it's quite easy to use, but um, not for me. So, um, if we go into edit mode, and then try mirror along the Y, See now, this is why I'm having a few problems because sometimes this doesn't seem to work for me. Um, and I'm not sure why, but obviously, you know, I am just a beginner at this, so that's something that I'll have to fix at a different point in time. Right now, I just want to be um, basically, I just want to try and make some things and try and learn a few things on the way. So, if anybody knows why that wasn't working, obviously, just leave a comment um, on the video and Hopefully, I can use it next time. So if we do, um, is it Shift and D to copy it? That's the one. And then, oh, Shift, D, and along the x-axis, and move that straight along. Again, as I said before, you know I am only a beginner at this, so there's probably a lot easier ways to do this, but. Um, this is my way, so anyone find out easier ways, again, just leave a comment, and then that way you'll help me out, and that's what this channel is about, is just helping everybody out. So again, shift D, and then along the Y, move it along the Y, and again, we just want to get it straight into the corners. Okay. Now I'll keep using the numpad just to turn around because I don't really know any of the other keys to actually just flip straight round onto the opposite sides. So I'm just going to use those keys and um, I'll say that you know that that seems to work for me. That's my way, and that does help when you're on the opposite side because you can actually line it up to the square that's behind it, providing that that's actually um, completely square with the sides and the edges that you want it to be. Or you can just zoom in a little bit and you keep all the shift, it stops it from going so fast. Click there. Okay, so as you can see, there's our four little legs, and I suppose that's not looking too bad, really. So now, what we want to do is now I know there's a way we can actually select all four of these and then you can treat them as individuals and scale them all in but again i don't actually know how to do that so i'm just going to use s and scale them yeah probably about there i find it's easy if you put your cursor over this side and then do your scale you can actually get a bit better control on that. I know these are not all going to be accurate, but you know, it'll do. There we go. And that's our basic shapes of the feet and the speaker done. Um, right, okay, so this is coming up to 10 minutes now, so this is probably going to stop.
so that'll be part one and yeah come back for part two thank you very much for watching